fam, welcome back to our channel. If you are new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and you turn on your post notifications so you can stay tuned to our Chamley adventures. What does Chamley mean? You might be wondering. Channel plus family equals Chamley. I made that up, no one could take it from me. Right, right baby Neil? No one could take it from me? Are you smiling? Hi, Papa. Are you? Oh. So Neil has this thing of like flicking everybody off. Like he literally sticks up the middle finger all day. Like, cause he sucks on his middle finger. So then when he takes out his mouth, he just holds it up. Are you gonna stick your middle finger up today? Oh, 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 oh. He's not, he's not doing it. But when he does it, it's really funny. Anyways, also, if you guys are like watching this and you never watched us before, make sure you subscribe because we just got our 100,000 subscriber plaque and we're shooting for a million subscriber plaque. So we need you to subscribe right now to help us get there. Anyways, oh, I'm out of breath. We got some big things going on today. We're going to our old house. That's really cool. We're going to our old house where Bella was born today. So it's gonna be really cool. You guys are gonna see all the stuff from like our old times. We're gonna have good memories there to cherish, but you'll see. Oh, and it's Neo's first time going to that old house. Are you excited to see where your sister was little? When she was like your size? Yeah, Dada, I am excited. You know, sometimes I think that I'm not gonna be excited and then I end up being excited. It's so funny. Interesting. Yeah, you ain't too stupid, Papa. You just turn that hand. When you turn that hand off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack you in your mouth and flick you off. All right, guys. So we just got to our old hood. Let me show you guys where Abella, Abella wasn't born in this hood, but this was the first. This was just. This is the first created. apartment we stayed in and where Here. Bella was created, if you know what I mean. Oh gosh. This is where we got pregnant. So let me show you guys. It's really, really, really exciting. I miss it here. You do? Mm-hmm. Me too. This nice is a nice little here. neighborhood. Watch, I'll show you guys. So this is super exciting. So this is like literally where I always park. And this... <gasps> no! Not the dragon. The dragon fell. <laughs> That was the problem living here, you remember? <laughs> Alright, so this is our apartment right here. This used to be our first apartment. It was there, that, it had a room right there, and then this is a living room, and then that was a bedroom, and that's where Bella was made. This is also where we got Zico. Remember? Uh -huh. Zico's little, he was right this here was running area. around. This was his area. That was the best. Yeah. And we used to always walk across the street to this park. I'm gonna show you guys this park where Bella learned how to walk. All right, guys. So now we're gonna walk to where Bella learned how to walk. <laughs> you wanna see where your big sister learned how to walk when she used to play when she was like little like you? We're gonna go. So guys, this is the park where we used to take Bella. She used to always play on these little rocks. And she used to go here. And this is our favorite thing over here, to sit on this thing and spin. I have videos of her spinning on this thing when she was little. Is it hot? It's probably, yeah, yeah it's hot. <laughs> Over here, this is the grass where she learned how to walk on. I spent hours with her out here practicing how to. Hi, puppy. Hi. Puppy. Hi. It's okay. it's a puppy. Hi, Oliver. Hi. Hi. So yeah, we used to. I was spent hours with her practicing how to walk with a little push cart. I'm gonna play videos for you right now of that. Go get it. Oh God. <laughs> Almost. Go get it. Go get it, mama. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Wow! Yeah! You ain't mommy? What the heck? <laughs> Jack! Get it, mama. Get it, mama. Wow! Oh, too fast, too fast, too fast. <laughs> Get me? <gasps> Tag, you're it. <laughs> yeah, dear ball, you can have it. She's like, I'm too far. <laughs> Mommy's gonna get you, run! <laughs> so, babe, how is it for you? 
seeing it's all so, this. I was like just like reminiscing how like our family has grown and like not just like us but like our actual family has grown and yeah. it's so cool to like just be able to share this with you guys and like come back here and just like all the memories like in this pool is where yeah. we had like our wedding. Yeah. And like Oh we had our wedding here too. Our our what's that yeah. what's that thing called after a wedding? Like the party? Reception. Oh, the reception. Yeah, we had the reception here. <laughs> so we had our reception right here upstairs. And then Abella learned when in the, her pool. The first time going to the pool oh, yeah. was in this pool. Yeah. There's a lot of different things. There's a lot of different so things. Like, yeah, a lot of memories here. So you guys who are OGs in the Chamley might remember you guys this place. Of course. They will? Yeah. It's crazy. I had to walk over here to see this. This soccer field right down the street from where we used to live is where I had so many memories. So many memories with Bella because I would take her every day to eat her croissants and just run around on the field and have fun. I have a bunch of videos to show you guys of that. Yo guys, so you guys might be wondering why did you come all the way back to Playa Vista where you used to live and it is because Crystal has tried and tried and tried to get a doctor where we live now and they're all overbooked. So we called this doctor that we used to have and he's able to see he's you. He's finally able to see me so I'm gonna go see him right now and talk to him and hopefully I can get a solution to my problem and i want to just share with you guys what i've been dealing with in the back it has a lot to do with my mental health so stay tuned for that because i'll be sharing with you guys now, once we get back home crystal will explain to you guys what exactly she has been going through okay guys so you guys are probably wondering why we drove all the way to la and why we had to go back to where we used to live and the reason is um i have been struggling really really bad with my mental health for the last couple of months and even though i seek therapy I, I see my therapist once a week i had an amazing team of doctors that were with me during my pregnancy and after my pregnancy but this in the past two weeks i can honestly say that i have been really hurting and when i say that i've been hurting i've been hurting in silence because i've been trying my best to sort of stay focused on the positive side of things and really not dwell on what was happening but that mentality actually ended up hurting me even more so when i finally decided to get help there was no doctors that could see me like in my area and i would have had to wait up to six weeks to be seen and i reached a point where i could no longer it, it was not healthy for me or for my family so i'm gonna show you guys a video of one of my panic attacks one of my many panic attacks that i've experienced but this was um the most severe one so i'm just giving you a trigger warning if you're someone who struggles with anxiety or with um panic attacks i i understand you and so this is the video that led me to get help So this day was the second day in a row that I had a, a panic attack. And I think what I, um, how I ended up here is that I, I'm, everyone's always like, Chris, you're such a positive person, how do you do it? And I am a positive person, but I think, and I can honestly say that for the past couple of weeks, I've had a very like toxic positivity mindset. And so what that looked like is like no matter how bad i was hurting and no matter how much i was suffering on the inside my positivity didn't allow me to just like simply say to myself like hey like you are really struggling and this time you really need to get help like you can't do this by yourself and so i kept pushing i kept pushing i kept pushing and then i got to that point where my panic attacks just got completely out of control 
and so I had originally planned to breastfeed Neo for six months and he's just turned four months not that long ago that was my goal I was like okay if I can get through the six months then I will get help and so I sort of put myself off in order for me to like fulfill this idea and this plan that I had for my motherhood journey and that became really unhealthy for me because um, I also suffer from ADHD and I have been on my off my medication for almost two years and probably a little bit longer than that because after I had a bell I went back on my medication and then I got off of it and then I've been off my medication for for that long and I started to notice that this time after I gave birth to Neo I focused so much on trying to prevent or trying to avoid experiencing postpartum depression for a second time that I completely neglected this other side of me and so I typically would not say anything to anyone and I would have um, actually would probably kept um, keeping it to myself and mentioned it to my therapist but I wouldn't I would play down a lot like how severe it was and so I went back to my doctor today I explained everything that was going on and um, I was very afraid to get back on my medication because I was afraid of like the process of getting back into the medication finding the right one that works for you and essentially putting my family through that As you saw, I reached a point where I could no longer continue to do that. It's not healthy for me. It's not healthy for my family because I was just keeping it to myself and, you know, I would never share it with Nick and this time, this was the second time that I experienced a panic attack, attack in a row, back to back. So this time I called Nick and I told him like, hey, like, I am not okay and I need help. And when I told him that, it felt like a huge weight was lifted off me and it was like a door opened up for me and an opportunity for me to actually get help and to start living again. And so I wanted to share this side of my life with you guys because I know how lonely and how empty it feels sometimes when you're dealing with mental health issues, whether it's depression, whether it's ADHD, anxiety, panic attacks any any mental health um, disorder it's very confusing not just for the person who's experiencing it but also for others around you so I'm I'm super thankful that I have an amazing husband who supports me and who was like okay like I know that you want to continue to breastfeed but you are not okay and it's okay to get help and the fact that he came with me to go see the doctor and made the trip all the way to LA it, it made me feel better and even now like talking about it it feels like like i've been wanting to get this off my chest for so long and if i had to describe it to you guys it almost feels like i haven't been in touch with myself because yes i'm a mother and i am a wife and i'm a sister i'm a daughter i'm a friend but it's been so long so so long since the last time that i felt like i was myself and there's nothing wrong with that it does not make me less of a good mother it does not make me less of a good wife but what i was experiencing all of this i thought that if i just keep pushing if i can just keep putting it off and get through it then everything is going to be okay but it wasn't because it was at the cost of my own mental health and i did it to myself it's just the type of person that i am i push through things and that's great but i think that when you try to be like good vibes only and positivity only it almost pushes you away from allowing yourself to feel what you feel and so that's what happened to me I wasn't allowing myself to feel what I feel and so my ADHD got so bad to the point where I was so aware that I was having such a difficult time focusing on things I wasn't getting things done I was forgetting things I wasn't meeting deadlines and that made me so anxious and so that triggered my panic attacks. And so my ADHD is combined with my anxiety. And so that's a really tough combo. And I put it off for too long. And I want to share this with you guys because I want this to be a point in, in your day and in, in your life where you ask yourself like, how am I really doing? Am I really doing the best that I can be? And if you're not, to reach out for help to not be afraid to say that you need help whether you're a woman or you're a man or young or old 
we all go through so many different things and we all need that support we all need that support from ourselves and so again i have talked about this in the past before i've been dealing with anxiety majority of my life for as long as i can remember i've been dealing with my adhd it got really bad when i was in high school and then when i went off to college and now that i'm 30 and now that i'm a mother i if my daughter or my son was hurting as much as i was i would want them to tell me so if you are struggling and you're afraid to say something because you may feel like no one's gonna believe you or they're gonna think that you're weak talk to someone don't keep it to yourself because it is so painful to do that and I wouldn't wish that for anyone so um, again thank you so much for all your support and everyone who I see some of you notice like when I'm more quiet or like why like I've changed or some of you have even messaged me privately and asked me like how come I haven't posted on my personal channel and honestly that's one of the reasons because it was too much for me and so I didn't want to put out any content that felt like I again that channel is like my baby like I have fun with it and I haven't felt myself for a really long time and I needed to prioritize my mental health and and I'm glad that I did and I'm glad that I got the help that I needed but I'm even more thankful for you guys because so many of you are just so incredibly amazing and so uplifting I don't always get to answer all of your comments or all of your DMs but I try my best and it's just amazing to hear you guys stories so <sighs> This feels different, this feels good. I feel so much better. I did start taking my medicine. I started my medicine today, so I am already feeling, I was telling Nick, I was like, it almost feels like a part of my brain was shut off for a long time and it's like back on and I'm like, wow, like, I've missed myself so much. And and I'm excited to, um, to just continue on and I'll be reading through your comments uh, I'll try my best to answer to you guys but I just want to say again thank you so much and um, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video I hope it helps someone and the shout out of the day goes to every person out there behind the screen who is struggling and silent speak up you're not alone you can get help there's help for you out there, there's hope for you out there, and you deserve to be happy. So I hope that this touches you, and I hope that even if you're not someone who is struggling with anxiety or with, um, ADHD or panic attacks, that it will give you a perspective into what someone who goes through mental health, what they feel, and, and that's the real reason I wanted to share the raw footage with you guys, because it i hope it helps you understand that when someone is hurting they really are hurting so be there for them and i love you guys so much and and thank you and i don't know how to sign out by myself anymore but um see you later fam peace <laughs>